Hey man, it's Young Swan Swan. Listen up. <coughs> In this video, I'm gonna help you guys out, man. I'm gonna give y'all the best dribble god, ISO god, dribble behind a screen builds in the game for guards okay the best running the one spot builds in thy game a hundred percent okay i'm gonna tell you why they are the best and the difference between all of them and how to make you make your choice on what to invest in okay i'm gonna break it down i'm not going to show you the perfect version of the build drop a like if y'all want me to show y'all the perfect version of each one of these builds but i'm just going to show y'all how to make these they are not going to include the pure playmaker or the pure shot creator because those you have to limit your build to get that name okay but these are the best guard builds i'm going to break them down to you y'all might already know of these builds but you're not going to know of this knowledge and the true difference to really help you make your decision okay i got you now look first make sure y'all subscribe <laughs> and drop a like on the video you mess with a young boy turn on notice but look you're going to want to make your dribble god build your iso build your your zigzag behind screen builds your aggressive behind the back behind screen builds point guard the reason why is because you get more badges as a point guard there's no point to make a shooting guard there's no point to make a small forward unless you are going to pick a height that you cannot achieve as a point guard. Okay? You get the most back. I'm pretty sure you get the most badges as a point guard. I always do left-handed. and It doesn't it doesn't matter what your number is. We won't pick number one because I'm the greatest in, of all times. Um, Yeah. By the way, I have a 97 win percent. No try. Every game I lost. People done through the game. You want to watch a young guy play live? You know, played about probably 20 comp games, watching superstars, and you know, y'all wanna watch me live? Go look at the Twitch. Lock Swan, versatile Swan. <laughs> now look, okay, these are the builds, bro. The first build I'm going to show you. <clears throat> now the first build I'm going to show y'all is the play shot. To create this build, I mean, you could have a version of like pure shot creator, you know, all this. To make this build, bro, you're going to want to select this chart. You can other charts and stuff, but this is most optimal. This is where you get Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking. This is the only of the three builds that I'm going to show you that has Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking, okay? There's also another way to make them to where you get OD high defense. Now, if y'all want that version, I, I can help you. You feel me? I don't want to release that, but this is a nice, this is a nice version of a play shot. Now look. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> this is the play shot. This is just a version. <clears throat> this is just a version. It's not the most perfect version, but as you can see, shot close pretty high, you know. Um, you could do a lot of, you know, just like, like get real close, fade, all that type of stuff. And you, you, it's really high when you take mistake shots, you know, super high. This is very useful, especially if you ISO or you play like Ticino or whatever. And you see, you got the four finishing badges to really help you. So you could do that gigantic hop step. Um, on my version, on one of my first versions, I kind of did the one finishing. I kind of regret that, but if y'all make a play shot, y'all could do it like this. You know, you got a nice driving dunk. You're not gonna get contact dunks, but you should you should raise up to get them dunks. You got OD shooting, okay? OD shooting, 22 Hall of, you, you get 22 shooting badges, Hall of Fame. Wait, what did I just take away? I do not know, hold on. Let me just put this anywhere, hold on. So, you get 19 playmaking. They get to be Hall of Fame. You could probably get more. You know, you switch it up a little bit. And you got five defensive. Now, this is just a style. This is not the ultimate perfect version. Drop a like. Let me know down in the comments if y'all want the ultimate perfect version. Now, you know, we always make our burly. You part of the academy. Always make your guy burly. You feel me? And we're we not going to touch the height. None of that. None of that. None of that. Y'all get it. You get it, okay? I'm gonna just show you. 
that this is the build. Okay, make a shot creator, you pick shot creator takeover. I don't know about shot creator takeover no more. I kinda a lot of people saying they regret shot creator takeover. They pick sharp now because you can dex and it actually it helps moving shots too. Um this is kind of just like moving. I don't know, but whatever. We just gonna pick whatever. Let's pick the sharp, whatever. Who cares? Or you pick playmaking, it's not too good, you know. Slash and takeover kinda, you know. Uh, but you gonna be a shooter anywho, so might as well pick this And you create a playmaking shot creator ah! Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this build now, you know blah blah blah, but look so now I'm gonna show y'all the next build bro I'm going to show y'all the offensive threat that everyone is making. Okay Well the next two builds I'm gonna show y'all is the offensive threat and the play slash and which version you should make for your style bro okay so i'm going to show y'all for the the play i'm going to show y'all the offensive threat first for y'all that don't know what it is now look this is the pie chart slash and sharp i don't know why they kind of it's so weird how they made these now look this does look a lot of op a lot of people are going with this build but what they're realizing is you're not as fast as the play slasher Okay. Now it's still good. It's it's OD great. Blah blah blah. You're not gonna be able to be as tall. You know, I want my play slasher to be bigger. That's me personally. That's why between these two builds, I'm gonna pick the play slasher. Okay. I already have a play shot, but my play slasher is gonna be my main ISO build. But anywho, the difference between these builds, bro, is like at 99.9, you could have him like. 65 having the same height but you gotta you gotta hold 99 or you gotta have someone to raise your attributes to do the aggressive behind the back because to do the aggressive behind the back you gotta have your ball handle at 86 okay i wish 2k would told us that but to speed boost all you need is quick first step okay it's pretty easy it's not hard you know but so yeah with this version of this build bro you get hall of fame finishing and Hall of Fame shooting, but gold playmaking, okay? That's the difference. With the play slash, you get gold finishing, gold shooting, you still get an 80 something three, but Hall of Fame playmaking and way more playmaking, so you're really fast and really ISO, really dick niggas behind screens, but I would say if you're not as talented, you know, you need more of a bailout build, this is definitely the one. Bailout build, and you know, just, cause you have Hall of Fame finishing and shooting. You can really do some bailout stuff. Just like with um the play shot, it's more of a bailout, cause of the Hall of Fame shooting. Play slash more like skill, even though it's way faster. You know, like a lot of y'all be needing bailouts, you don't know. I'm saying if you're not too good, you might want to make them you're gonna have to make them small well not really but it's all up to you i know a lot of y'all don't win all the time so you probably can't even hold 99 so you probably gonna have to make them like a little midget people keep saying six three doesn't matter the six five just shut up don't listen to them okay all the uh stage players and pro-am players they always make little midgets every year that doesn't mean it's the best version of the of the build bro i promise you that's just them. They, they don't know what they're weird, bro. <laughs> but anywho, so, you know, just pick this little profile real quick. So look, I'm not giving y'all the perfect layout, what I think is the best, but you get the point. This is the offensive threat. 90 shot close. 85 driving layup with Hall of Fame. Finishing badges, you know, real bailout. And by the way, when you make your builds and you're really you want contact dunks you're gonna want the 85 version so when you make your builds bro keep that in mind try and remember try and think what overall you can actually hold because once you hit 95 you know on your way to 99 you get to get more and then once you unlock it you don't have to hold it no more so just keep that in mind so if you can hit 99 once you can even do that in my career. You can unlock it, and then you don't have to worry about it no more. You feel me? But um, 
with ball handle, you gotta you gotta maintain your shit. So just keep that in mind. You need to unlock you. You don't want it to be at 79 or 78. You want to be able to eventually hit 85 on your driving dunk to get contact dunks. Well, 84, but 85 for the like the pro ones or whatever they're called. But you know, stupid OP, 15 finishing badges. You can either have 15 or 12 and invest in more. And um, you know, you can invest in more defense. But this is the basic makings of this guy. Look at his three. Now you can eventually change this, and you, you once you're 99, it's gonna be over 90 and stuff. And your shooting is Hall of Fame. Okay, you're gonna be speed boosting. You're gonna be stupid fast. But you know, yeah. You know, it's it's nice, it's a nice build, but you don't get as many playmakers. So it's up to you. If you're not really a dribbler, you kind of like not good. You don't want to really be fast, fast, or say you don't play a lot of comp, you know, because speed matters versus comp. I promise you, bro. It matters. Like it's it's hard to explain, bro. Well, you still could be real fast, but you're gonna be small. I don't know. Okay, I would just say. If you're not as good, you might want to make this one, okay? If you're more good, play slash, okay? But yeah, make them burly. Rep the burly. By the way, if you want to be a part of the academy, make sure y'all y'all rep the uh, the <laughs> Super Saiyan Corn Rolls. <laughs> you know, the scruffy beard. You know, you want to be part of second to none, you feel me? And we're not going to touch the height or nothing. I'm not recommending the height. I'm not recommending the weight or the wingspan. I'm just picking them. I'm just showing you and with the offensive threat you know if you're gonna be zigzagging behind screens and stuff you can pick the sharp if you're gonna be dunking you can pick the slasher if you're gonna be fading you know you can pick that playmaking all up to you bro but slasher looking you know you really want to play for fun <laughs> bye bye <laughs> you could go crazy but this is the offensive threat build you see yeah, slash slash. You feel me? Now I'm gonna show you how to play slash. This is the build that I have chosen to do out of these three builds and really focus on. That's where most of my gameplay is gonna be on my account. Okay, is the play slash. I think it fits my play style the most, and I can really dribble, dribble. You feel me? Now for the play slash. You could also like make a playmaker out of this, but never mind, never mind, never mind. It doesn't matter. The play slash, in my opinion, I think it's better than the offensive threat, at least especially for what I do. I don't need bailout shooting badges. I don't need bailout finishing. Even though you get gold in both, you know, I, I just want the speed. So I'm just untouchable, bro. And I could be big and not really worry. I don't have to make my wingspan the smallest. But I probably am just because I really want to. I want to punish him, you know. And I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna um. When I run with this build, I'm gonna have a lock on my team to guard ball. I could do it myself, but just you know, y'all know how the meta is. I would love it to where you know if I'm guarding ball and stuff, you know, everyone else is guarding ball. But since I stream on my games, comp likes to pull up and bring a lock. And I don't want to be at a disadvantage to where I'm guarding ball and playing offense. And then they have someone guarding me. That's that's their sole purpose. And it's just not nice. So that's why I run with locks. You dumb dumb. Okay. I don't need to, but I do. Okay. And by the way, I got a lock. If you want my lock build, best lock build. In the now look, with these two profiles, you could pick this profile or you could pick this profile. Now... You know, I was really thinking about it. I was struggling. And um, I was like, does higher strength help you get more dunks or does higher vertical? I was like, you know what? I do it for the two, Benny. The way I'm trying to rise. You feel me? I'm trying to rise. So I just went ahead and picked this, you know. And um, yeah, I'm going to show y'all just a, just a brief, you know. Now, as you can see. I just, you know, just upgraded, just showed y'all the basic layout. And you look, you see, you get more defensive and you faster. You feel me? Like, uh, ah, hmm. You 
no. That's a high driving layup, high shot close. Look at the three. Now you go T-Rex, you know. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you real quick. Now, you see it goes tall. Once you go taller, you get to, you got to make sure your driving dunk is at least 80 when you make these builds or whatever. I'm going to just, you know, put this right here. This is, I'm not touching none of this, blah, blah, blah. But you see, you get plus three on everything. So you can really shoot, bro. If you need all those bailouts, there's something wrong with you, bro. Now, this is what you could pick, you know, and I'm hearing the slash and takeover go crazy, you know. I'm really trying to rise for entertainment, and I really want to break people too, but you know, this is the play slash version. These are the three builds. Now, y'all let me know which build you personally think is the best of these three, your version of these builds. Which builds you have most fun on? Which builds you think is more comp? Let me know what you rate each of these builds. Y'all be sure to like the video if this is helpful. If you enjoyed this, subscribe if you know, share with all your friends. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Drink a gallon of water a day. Go to the gym seven days a week. Y'all be sure to tune into my stream tonight. And um, y'all have a good day. Click on one of these four videos, man. I'm gonna be posting tomorrow too, so be on the lookout.